Hello everybody and welcome back to Noya Dev, the series that aims to prove that one developer can create a successful MMORPG. My name is Dane and this week on Noya Dev, we're going to talk about logging and player experience. So why do we need logging in Noya? Well, if you know, you know. But for those of you that don't know, I just like watching you guys. And the logs let me watch all of you at once. Even while you sleep. But in all seriousness, I need to have the logs to be able to analyze how the players interact with the game. Everyone plays games differently, so I can't rely solely on my own play experiences in order to tune Noya's difficulty properly. And I also can't rely solely on the player's word of mouth to convey if the game is functioning properly either. So with these logs, I'll be able to get the data that tells me everything I need to know and combined with player feedback and my own experiences will be able to tune Noya to be the best game we can make it. Now the biggest obstacle that I had to solve was the speed at which the server can write these logs to a log file. Now there's gonna be a little bit of nerd talk here, but stick with me and I bet I can make all of this make sense. The players go around the world of Noya and use skills, kill monsters, loot things, and interact with NPCs. The server takes note of all of these actions and queues them up to write them to a text file on the hard drive. Reading and writing data to the hard drive is slow. Like really, really slow. Your typical hard drive can copy a 30 minute TV show episode in about 5 to 10 seconds. RAM can copy that same file over 20 times in one second. So we know that writing logs to the disk is slow. Now for the solution. Threads. Unity, the engine that Noya is made in, is what's called single threaded. Think of it like putting together a Lego set. You are one person the thread. You follow the instructions one line at a time until your Lego set is complete. This is how Unity works. It has one thread and it follows the code one line at a time until it's finished or is told to stop. Now if you tell this single thread to do something that's going to take a while, say write a bunch of text to a file on the hard drive, even if it is just a second, the entire program needs to wait for that operation to complete before it can continue on. In Noya, this means means everything would stop, monsters wouldn't move, players couldn't attack, and eventually everyone would just disconnect. So can we make another thread? Can we get a second person to help with our Lego build? Yes, that is what we can do. But, and this is important, threads can fight and even get in each other's way. I don't need my separate thread to do anything complicated. It just needs to write the logs and stop simple as you can get. Originally I had these two separate lists for logs. One list would be allowed to receive log events from Noya, and the other list would be the one to write to disk. Every 30 seconds these two lists would flip-flop. The active would become the writing, and the passive would then become the new active. Should be thread safe, right? Well, yeah. It actually worked, but it worked really poorly. I generated 1 million test events for each list and then waited to see how long it would take to write to disk. The logger managed to write about 100,000 lines to the log file in about 30 seconds. That's not good. So I did what any smart person would do in this instance. I went to Reddit. It wasn't that bad. In fact, the people of R C Sharp were very helpful. They gave me two suggestions. Instead of using lists, use what's called concurrent queues. And instead of writing one line at a time to the file, use what's called a string builder. Concurrent queues seem like they were literally designed for this exact problem in mind. By design, concurrent queues are thread safe. So now I don't need my two lists anymore. I can add and remove from the queue at the same time with no thread errors. And the string builder solved my disk write speed issue. I had been opening the log file, writing a single line, and then closing the file. And this was really slow. The string builder takes all of the logs, collects them into one single block of text, and then writes that block of text to the file in one action. With these two small changes, I went from writing 100,000 lines to the disk in 30 seconds to writing over a million lines to the disk in 
under four seconds. The log operation finished so fast that when I saw the complete notification in the console, I thought I did something wrong. Then I opened the log file and all one million entries were there, clear as day. These two changes sped up the logging system 75 times. Now, I'm pretty sure I just gave myself a stroke explaining that, so if it made sense to you, you should subscribe. On to a few other things. Something that everybody has been wanting that I just couldn't implement yet, and now I can, was HP regeneration. HP regen was disabled initially because I had no way to control it in and out of combat because in and out of combat was a state that didn't exist. The built-in HP regen was so powerful that the players were unkillable by most monsters in the underworld, so I had to turn it off. But now, natural HP and MP regen has been added. By default, all players will regen half a percent of their total HP per second, or one HP per second, whichever is the larger number. Natural regen will not work in combat. Using an attack, or a heal, or being on a monster's aggro list will put the player into combat. After five seconds of the monster being defeated, the player will no longer be considered in combat, and natural regen will resume. This HP MP regen is separate from any sort of regen granted by a buff, such as crystalline veins. Regen granted by buffs will stay active, all right? Moving on to some big changes on how Noya handles player experience. First, you'll notice here that I've commented out the punishment for dying. This is primarily because I'm not sure what I want the penalty for death to be. Now make no mistake, death will have teeth in Noya. The question is, what? I have a few ideas, but I'd love to hear your guys' ideas for what the penalty for death should be. So let me know in the comments, or better yet, in the Noya Discord server. Another XP change is Noya is going from an exponential XP curve to a non-uniform one. With this change, I can now specify an exact XP value tied to each level. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. First and most important is I can adjust the experience to level requirements on the fly, and no one will lose anything from it. Before, every time the player leveled up, their level would go up and their experience would go back to zero. Now levels are tied to XP thresholds. So now when the player meets this new XP threshold, they level up. So if I change the thresholds in the future, every Everyone will benefit from it immediately. So if your total XP value would put you at say two levels higher than you were, you instantly gain those two levels. Now with this change I have to reset everyone's character levels, but don't worry. To help with that we have our new NPC here stationed next to Sam. Everyone say hi to Jeebs. Jeebs is my official admin helper NPC during the alpha and beta testing phases. From now on, anything that needs to be fast-tracked and tested can be found with Jeebs. So if you want to skip the grind and test the latest content, you can. Head over to Jeebs, grab some levels, grab some weapons, and I'll be adding weapon and skill level functions to Jeebs soon. Going back to the experience curves though. Having these inconsistent experience curves is a design philosophy that I've seen incorporated in a few different MMOs. The idea is we consume media, or video games, the same way we consume food. And like food, we like a bit of homogeneity. That is, we don't like everything to be uniform all the time. We want a little variety with each bite. And hopefully with this change, we'll add a bit of spice to the grind. At least that's the hope. We'll see if I get it right. And that's it for this week. Did I buy an X-Wing Lego set just to make a point? Yes, I did. <laughs> but I got to get back to work. There are a lot of new faces in Discord and a lot of new bugs being reported. And if you're not a member of the Discord, you should be. And hey, if you like what you're seeing here on YouTube, consider subscribing. It helps grow the community and nobody wants to play in an empty MMO. So, we'll see you next time.